Hi, um, in this video, I'm going to read, um, we're going to do a reading of the Wisdom of Solomon, Chapter 6. Uh, we're reading out of the Subtuagen uh, and or KJV version. So, um, I'll try to leave a link if you want to uh, read this on your own. Uh, this is an excellent reading. And um, for those who can receive it, this is indeed the inspired Word of God. So um, I just pray in Jesus' name, uh, please, those who have the ears to hear, please let them hear. Hallelujah. Let, and we just pray, Lord, that uh, the reading of this chapter, uh, that your goodness and that your mercy uh, is glorified. So you alone are glorified. Hallelujah. And uh, this is a good reading for everybody. Hear, therefore, O you kings, and understand. Learn you that be judges of the earth, that be judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear you that rule the people and glory in the multitude of nations. For power is given you of the Lord and sovereignty from the highest. Who shall try your works and search out your counsels? Because being ministers of his kingdom, you have not judged the right, nor kept the law, nor walked after the counsel of God. Horribly and speedily shall he come upon you, for a sharp judgment shall be to them that be in high places. For mercy will soon pardon the lowly, but mighty men shall be mightily tormented. For he which is Lord over all shall fear no man's person, Neither shall he stand in awe of any man's greatness. For he has made the small great and cares for all alike. But a sore trial shall come upon the mighty. To you, therefore, O kings, do I speak, that you may learn wisdom and not fall away. For they that keep holiness holy shall be judged holy. And they that have learned such things shall find what to answer. Therefore, set your affection upon my words, desire them, and you shall be instructed. Wisdom is glorious and never fades away. Yes, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such as seek her. She anticipates them that desire her in making herself first known to them. Whoso seeks her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors. To think therefore upon her is perfection of wisdom, and whoso watches for her shall quickly be without care. For she goes about seeking such as are worthy for her, shows herself favorably to them in the ways, and meets them in every thought. For the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and the care of discipline is love. And the love is the keeping of her laws. And the giving heed to her laws is the assurance of incorruption. And incorruption makes us near to God. Therefore, the desire of wisdom brings to us a kingdom. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O you kings of the people, honor wisdom, that you may reign forevermore. As for wisdom, when she is and how she came up, I will tell you, and will not hide mysteries from you, but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity, and bring knowledge to her into light, and will not pass over the truth. Neither will I go without consuming envy, for such a man shall have no fellowship with wisdom. But the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world, and a wise king is the upholding of the people. Receive therefore instruction through my words, and it shall do you good. Hallelujah. I pray this is received in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you.